Okay, hey, Chatty, see All what's right. in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Chad, do you just carry this knife always? Um, pretty much. Oh, I had a feeling this might be coming today. I am so excited. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I think this one is, is a trimmer. These must be the the skins. Look at how pretty they are. I see the other one. Dude, it is small. It is tiny. That thing is compact. This thing is just right in your hand right here. Oh, dude, let's try it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. And today, I present to you guys, I think this gotta be one of the smallest clippers in, ex in existence. This is the Instinct, and this is the Trimmer. And these are actually damn near the same size. It comes with a gold. <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold up. Show me what you guys are doing. <laughs> How are you supposed to concentrate, all right? This ain't a Bob Maneri video, all right? The clipper comes with the gold fusion blade, or vapor, as we call it now. It has the clicks, trimmer, you got the little windows here, you guys are gonna check that out. Uh, but yeah, man, we're gonna put it through its first test, the very first cut that's about to be here in a minute. Damn, this is small. It's pretty quiet, too. It's pretty quiet. It is so tiny. Four hours of runtime? This little, four hours of runtime. And for those of you guys who don't know, a vector motor is supposed to give you more power when you need it, and when you don't, it conserves battery. So that's kind of the idea between the vector motor versus the brushless motor versus some of the other motors uh, that we've had. So this is a whole new type of thing uh, to hit the market. I'm pretty excited to cut with it, but check this out. I've used one of these, these motors before. Watch what happens when I put my thumb to try to stop this blade. You're not gonna stop it. It speeds up. The harder you try to hold it down, the harder it goes. Isn't that crazy technology? That is crazy. All right, so four hours for the clipper and four hours for the trimmer. So this is gonna be fun. Uh, we're gonna start with the trimmer. I'm gonna tap in a little skin line. This is the first time. I have no idea how good it's gonna be. Just get a haircut. I don't know why. Oh my god. Looks like it's just annihilating there. Here we go. Just scratching me? No. That thing's crunch. You hear the crunch? Yeah. It's not, it's not like it's savory. It's getting pretty bald too. It's got the same blade as the savory. That one hitter. It feels like, like it feels like this thing has just a ridiculous amount of power to it. I mean, it's like nothing. Not scratching you or nothing, buddy? No. Feel pretty comfortable? Yeah. I'm just using the corner and drawing the line. Like nothing. Okay, so throughout this cut, like never once did I hear the motor like actually have to engage its upper gear. Uh, the default speed, which I guess that's where the four hour runtime comes in, but the default speed was super, super powerful. And I cannot wait to test this against some thicker hair. I have a client in mind that it's really going to be great to test them on. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait for that one. But this feels super, super strong. I mean, so you'll, you'll notice I'm using the pulse. That's because I'm putting together my roundup for shavers, trimmers, and clippers. And if you guys drop a comment on something that you wanna make sure makes it into that video, uh, drop one below. First time ever using it, and uh, let's see what, let's see what it does. Uh, it's so little, like I can literally hold it in my hand like this one. When I'm fading.
mistake one for the other. Damn near. They look identical in size. And just in case for some reason you didn't already know this, but this will fit your wall guards. It comes with gamma dubs, which are double magnetic guards. It'll fit Fabulous guards. So uh, thankfully, all the guards that we pretty much use most of the time are able to be fit. And I just use the same ones I had on my station. This is the cut, first cut on the Instinct Clipper. And my instincts about this clipper so far is, hell, it's dope, bro. This thing is little, it's powerful. I just noticed it's got a micro USB charging port, four hours of runtime. And I think when the world gets a hold of this, man, you guys are gonna love this. It looks like that's coming in around 71 for the clipper which is very quiet. We'll say like 76, 77, which isn't too bad, but a little bit louder. Trimmer, 184 grams. Clipper, 215 grams. One thing that I find just awesome is the charging methods. So there is actually a little magnet that you could plug into the micro USB port. You could use one charger cable to charge both of these. And something that Gamma is always thinking about um, and Stylecraft is always thinking about is charging solutions being the same. So both the trimmer and the clipper fit the exact same dock. And with four hours of runtime, just having one of these on your station uh, would provide you, you know, plenty of charging power for the day. Biggest, baddest, newest motors on the block, the Instinct Clipper and the Instinct Trimmer. My head is spinning with what is becoming possible in this industry because... I didn't even really think about the fact that they could they could manage power uh, in this way. I'm excited to see what we come up with going forward. <laughs> 